today I want to aspire to do some vlogging and maybe I can just take you over a couple of days I will try I would hope I hope you can even hear me through this mask I mean you know that in the days and in the life that we're living now we have to live mask lives but today in particular I'm bringing you to my workspace and to one of our recordings we're recording one of our shows as you can see everyone is absolutely compliant wearing their masks we're fully sanitized we go around with our sanitizers and we're going to be having a great interview with our guests for today but this is part of what I do um, minus the vlogs that you watch and the conversations that you watch but hey how are you how are you doing and how are you doing how are you doing wearing these masks even with this one that i'm wearing i feel like sometimes it can just you know cause like a headache or something of the sort and i know that these days that we get to wear masks we actually need to get a lot of water inside and fluid because there's a tendency to just easily just at least for me my experience easily just dry out and burn out but you know what we'll all be fine staying safe is the most important thing and not just staying safe for ourselves but staying safe for other people usually i would wear this mask and i would wear a second inner mask but as you can see i'm also staying far away from people and i'm not wearing the inner mask right now because um of my makeup and because i have an interview to do but if I was going to be in a place where I had to be around people, then I would wear an inner mask and then this on top because this really does not protect. Um, but this just helps to at least keep the face protected if you are maintaining very good social distancing. But let me show you what our set for today looks like. Yep, so that's the set. So there's enough space and there's enough social distancing. setting the cameras that is Eniola just standing we are not really sure what she's doing that is Anu pretending to be filming why I'm filming as well and we're gonna start the interview now now you guys are not gonna watch the interview here if you want to watch the interview you have to go to our other YouTube page storyteller media NG to watch the interview but I'm sure that we're going to have an amazing time today. You know what I love about production? Sometimes it just seems that drama can just happen right there on set drama bam but the beautiful thing about it about it is you just gotta work it out you know whatever drama you face you just have to find a way to sort out the drama and ensure that you guys have a great production so they just told me now that something 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 i'm just like must production always have drama can't you just be drama free for once once in a lifetime but it's all right we'll be good we'll be fine guys can we record now?
hi guys so it's another day today we finished recording yesterday and i just couldn't what i was too tired we're too tired and i just couldn't vlog the journey like the finishing journey and out of that but the recording went very well we thank god and like i said you'll be seeing it sometime very soon but today is another day today i'm going to the office and i have a couple of other places to stop at so let's just see how the day pans out right how is your day going i hope that um well whenever you're watching this i'm watching that maybe even at night but i mean i just always say that the grace to see another day should not be taken for granted and if there's another day that you can get up again you know believe again just dream again and just push out your dreams and your goals again and just live or breathe again it is another day to be thankful to god so let's get going i have a lot to do today we have a video we are releasing um so we need to get that done and i even have a vlog i actually have a vlog to shoot that i want to record at the office today so yeah let's get going to the office office and as you can see I look different why because I've worn my mask so like I said um, I have two masks so I wear this when I know that I'm not necessarily going to be in direct contact with people but I also have my inner face mask so if I need to put this instead of this I have all of that in these days you have to go out completely compliant and then I also have my hand rub, my alcohol. So I prefer this to, well, anyone, this or the sanitizer. There's a sanitizer at the office as well, but I go around with this one, you know, so you have to leave your house. I said, it's quite amazing how we have all just become compliant these days. Like, I think that we've just really eased into this whole way mask, carry sanitizer around as if, you know, it was always a way of life. You know, human beings, I think, things about us is how quick to adapt we are and I think it's actually quite a very special skill if you ask me we're very quick to adapt to adapt because that's the only way to live you adapt to grow so many situations happen in our lives that you just have to learn how to adapt yes the key to my office I got it and we go we go, we go, we go. I usually have to come up this crazy flight of stairs, right? And depending on how, I don't even know, some days I come up the steps and I feel absolutely great. Some other days I come up the steps and I'm out of breath <laughs> like I am today, the day. But it's all good. It's fine. So I'm here now. I'm here now. I'm at the office. I mean, you guys are used to this space. I've done a couple of videos already from this space. But I can't settle down yet because the first thing that I do when I get to the office is I wash my hands and funny enough this is something I have always done um, one of the things that my mother taught us growing up anytime you get somewhere anytime you get back home that was how she taught us actually anytime you get back home make sure the first thing you do is wash your hands mommy thank you for that lesson so I'm actually quite used to washing my hands so, I mean in these days where it is now a way of life. It's something that I'm just generally used to. Anytime I enter into my space, anytime I get back home or I come to the office, the first thing that I do is wash my hands. So I'm just going to go to where I'm going to get that done. And I think it's just always necessary. Look, hygiene, you know, personal sanitation and none of that is something that we shouldn't take for granted. I've just entered a dark space 
is something that we shouldn't take for granted. You should always be someone who takes your personal hygiene and cleanliness very seriously. Cleanliness is next to godliness. So not even just because there is some you know, virus or something in the air, as much as you can, because we touch a lot of things. We touch things that people have touched. You bought something, exchange of money. I mean, there's just all sorts of bacteria and infections and viruses around based on the things that we touch. And we're people that I can want to eat something now, it's my hands that I use. So, you know, there are just many reasons why we should take personal hygiene very seriously. I mean, I can turn on the light in this space. I don't know why I'm choosing to shoot in the dark, but I'm sure you guys can still see my face. So let me get my hands washed. Okay, I'm done, hands washed, and when you wash your hands, I know this might be hard for many men to do, but it's always necessary to moisturize, just cream, and that is what I mean. you don't have to use anything fancy, but it's just good to get the hands, you know, nicely moisturized, it's just always very important. And now I need to get to the work but they because I'm alone in my office I don't wear my mask but if someone was to come in uh, to see me you know or something I would definitely wear my mask so I just leave it right here on the table and if I felt the need to wear the properly covered one because these ones guys are not properly covered so like I said I wear these ones when I'm not necessarily directly you know beside anyone but if i wear then i would wear the other full face mask right so get to the work of the day like i said we're, we're releasing a video today we need to get all the work of that sorted i'm recording um a video right here in at the office as well so you will see the process of how i set up i have to set up lights it looks nice and bright but it still needs lights to be well lit and all of that, I took off <laughs> my wristwatches and my rings. I always do that when I want to wash my hands for some reason. It's just a habit that I have, right? So, yeah, we need to get to do all of that. I just get to our work of production. Uh, my work is content creation, content production. We do this for organizations. We do, we do this also to just to create content that impacts lives, that teaches, that educates, that entertains, that informs, something that you can watch and learn from and you can find a lot of our content on our page at storytellermedia.ng. At Storyteller Media NG, I think I was giving you the website address or something. At Storyteller Media NG. Let me plug my laptop so that we can get to work for today. So it's midday, it's about 12, and let me tell you something very interesting about me. And I think it's like this for different people, except you've not necessarily studied yourself. So I find that there are very specific productive moments that I have in the day. I'm an early morning person. My most productive moments, early morning, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 a.m. So the morning of the day is my most productive moment. And then once it's anything after five. Now, what I mean is this is when my brain is sharp, my brain is working, everything. Once we get into that midday, 12 noon kind of thing, I like to put lesser activities that don't really require brain tasks, brain work. So in these places, I can put um, editing, I can put recording, so I don't put things like planning, strategy, and all of that in the afternoon, because by then, I'm already experiencing like a shutdown. So I've realized that that is what works for me. Like I remember when um, my first place of work, and you know, we always had to write scripts. So when we were given episodes, it got to the point where you had to write out the whole script of the episode. On the days when I had to write my scripts, I will get to work like 7 a.m. Yes, yeah, so I'd have left my house at about 6, 
office was in VI. I lived in Dolphin Estate, so it took about 30-ish minutes, no traffic, hopefully, or little traffic. And But I'll get to work 7, 7.15 before anybody is there. Early in the morning, my brain is sharp, and that is when I'll write my scripts. And that's still what I do now. So when I really have a lot of, you know, intense things that I know requires a lot of thinking, a lot of thought processes, I get to the office early and I do what I have to do. So once it's midday, one of the things that I do is have a cup of coffee. I just need something to boost my system. I try not to eat too heavy because then, you know, there's a tendency to feel weak and tired. So it's very important that you find what works for you. You know, many times people just go through the day and you just realize that, oh, you don't know your routines, you don't know anything, I, I was tired, did they did this? No, understand your system, understand your body, understand your own individual structure. We all have different structures. You never know, some other person might say, oh, my afternoons work better for me, mine is my morning. So the truth is I can be shut down between 12 to five but there's a certain energy that just returns to me automatically by five o'clock like i'm just ready again to go to do this to do that that's when i can say i'm studying you know maybe my bible or i'm reading a book i can even read books in the absence but the major task where i know that i really need to think really need to process i leave them morning or i leave them evening afternoon is for the very easy to do just you know skill work nothing intense that's just the way i am so i don't know if it happens like that for you as well or if you even understood your system understood the structure of your body and if you are working like that for me it is one of the major productivity hacks understand yourself understand how you are wired and work to your wiring so yes now i am having my cup of coffee many people abuse me and say this is not coffee that <laughs> that my, my three in one <laughs> next cafe is not the strong coffee. I'm not the black coffee kind of people, but at least these days I mix it up. So yeah. And some days I just have my three in one alone. Trust me. I, I love my next cafe three in one. It just works perfectly for me. I know this is not a three in one promotion. <laughs> it's just what I like to drink. All right, let's get to this watching. Yeah. And continue the work of the day. So part of the activities that I can do in the afternoon as well are my Canva thumbnails. And these I use Canva to do my thumbnails for um, the vlogs. Um, the video that I put out a while back, I, I realized that I had put it out on YouTube, but I had not created a design for Instagram. So what I would usually do, I will just... Once I've created the one for YouTube, I just come and use the settings for Instagram. I absolutely love Canva. Canva just makes life easier. And I think Canva makes the weirdest, I mean, the most unskilled person almost feel like a professional in editing, right? <laughs> in, sorry, in graphics, not in editing. It makes all of us feel like we know what we're doing. Oh, see my cute face. Yeah, that was me many years ago. So I was going to... So I tried to do this kind of design, but it didn't work. The idea wasn't working, so I just stayed with this picture. I should tell the story of this photo shoot. No, I shouldn't. I've done that on Instagram already. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, so for Instagram, you have to add all of this YouTube stuff and all of that. So the design concept can sometimes, you know, come out differently, but, you know, we'll find a way to work it out. So I'm done. Uh, that's the difference. So this is how it will look for Instagram and this is the look for YouTube. So depending on where you're putting the design, you have to understand that some things might not work. This is more of a landscape image. There's enough space to do that. So I wouldn't have been able to even put the title below here because there's no space. But when it came to the Instagram sizing, there is no space beside here for the title, so that is why I changed the structure. So just some design principles, at least my way, the TY way, right? <laughs> there are more professionals that can tell you better ways to do it, but this is how I would go about 
you know, design differences based on platform because you have to think about that based on platform as well. Yeah. When Tommy came to see me in my office, Tommy's I don't know. Tommy's not camera ready. I don't know what she's running for. I don't know what she means. Like she's not camera ready. And this is how I'm going to put it. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> it is time to set up for today's vlog. I carried all my stuff inside this box because, wow. quite frankly, it's the simplest way to go around. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's all my gear. This recording is a serious matter. So let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm about to record now. Um, usually I would have a tabletop tripod, but I forgot that at home, so I had to use the landing one, the you know proper tripod. It might it's a bit more technical, but luckily Tommy was here, so um, she helped with the focus. So that has been done because when it's farther from you, then it can be more intense in trying to focus that and getting the focus right so yeah let's get to today's recording you'll be seeing this video i'm <laughs> recording before this one but yeah that is how i sometimes try to set up in the office for vlogs today has been a full day all sorts of things happening but we'll get this done as well yes we'll have an amazing um recording the most important thing sometimes is just decide what you want to do in a day and try your best possible to get everything packed into that day and to get everything done the interview that we had yesterday and i asked her one of the lessons uh that she's learned in life and she said to me do not put off till tomorrow what you can do today and i told myself that is so profound it's the simplest lessons in life that sometimes are the most profound but hey we are learning so everything i can do in today in one day i try to do i might be fagged out at the end of the day but make each day as productive and as fruitful as possible so let's get to recording now done 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 with this recording now it's time to step out i am going to buy some things i'm done from the office officially um i'm going to get some things so i have to go out so i have to pack up all of it. again that's the thing you pack up you pack down you set up you set down life work work life is the business of life and then we get going all gear done and ready to go a stain on my window here because of something that was fixed and then they didn't use the they didn't clean off the gum well so we need to find like oil or something like that to clean off the glue so annoying and I can see it's so bold right here in the camera bear with me and with the stain on my window why is everybody turning oh they see traffic anyways this is where I am going to I'm not turning because of the traffic. My customer is right here. 
This is somewhere called Montgomery Street here in Yaba. And I'm going right here, right here to buy my carrots and ginger. Customer, greet my people. Say hello. <laughs> we understand the Nakwana. Oh, yeah, for me, lemon. Yeah, Megida. Because I'm your mom, Megida. Yeah, yeah, I can't get out. You want to make it out. So that's it. I bought what I want. Um, you know, I'm the kind of person that I love vegetables, absolutely, but I also indeed love like all of the burgers and fries and meat pies and all of those things. Like I enjoy the best of both worlds and I think that is my definition, my my definition of a balanced diet. <laughs> balance it all like we can do the pizzas and the ice creams and the all of that and at the same time i can feast on salads there was a time that no matter what i ate i would add lettuce or cabbage or cucumbers i love cucumbers to my meal even now i still do it if i eat rice and i boil rice i cut cucumbers i love onions in fact, I love raw onions. The only reason why I don't eat them raw is because of the smell they leave in the breath. So what I might do is just to, you know, um, boil them a bit so that it reduces that mouth odor. I love I love all types of veggies, really. Like, vegetables make the world go round. So I'm quite a vegetable person. And at the same time... Like I said, it's the best of both worlds. Balanced diet. What's your diet like? What's your kind of diet? Right? So I'm almost home. Anyway, I'm just going back home. I'm going to continue work from home. These days, there's work at work. There's work at home. Every, I mean, it's just it's always been like that anyways. But I find it more intense these days. That it's just like it's just like 24-7 work. But we are fine. We're good. We are working. And we will be all right. Right? Right. The roads are so free these days. Like, it's beautiful. And, you know, I'm just like, how long can Lagos remain like this? I mean, there are some places that have traffic. Yeah. But more than often enough these days, because I think lifestyles have genuinely even changed, like almost permanently. There's some lifestyles that have permanently changed. There's some office routines that have permanently changed that I don't think that even when, you know, we get back to whatever it was, you know, post COVID would go back. Some things have genuinely changed. Some offices have decided, you know, no more nine to fives they've changed so it's, it's just very good and i think that we need to stay like this because guys you know the truth is post covid right not everything needs to change back some things need to change some things that have changed need to stay the way they are because we've come to realize that life is actually better this way like it actually is better this way so there's no need to try to change back because now covid is over or now days you know we're back to normal whatever that normal is just be be the way you are be the way it is you know accept what it is the ones that have been productive and good and beneficial stick with it the ones that need to change back change back but the ones that don't need to don't and that can you know mean so many things anyways i've already done a video called don't go back so if you want to see that video don't go back you should check it it's right here on my channel where i actually talk about some things that you should not go back to after this covid eh don't go back it's not necessary something don't go back right but i'm ending this video mama i'm ending this video shortly because i'm getting home now and as i'm getting home, i'm just going to edit so i now have to edit the video that i just recorded so that that can be up for tomorrow so it's just work work and work 
continues but thank you at this point in time i think this follow me out or go out with me <laughs> we've done two days and it's just two days taking you around uh work work going for a shoot and work being in the office and in the middle of that whole going out i hope that there's been some beneficial banter yeah let me know in the comment section so thank you guys for watching my video i am literally turning into my final destination now uh see you in the next video subscribe 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 leave your comments and let's just continue this journey of life and living together thanks bye